All right, y'all. I think a package just came to the front door. Let's see. Let's see if it's here. <gasps> oh, snap. Stay, Bo. Oh, snap. Is this what I think it is right here? Oh, snap. Let's see what's inside, man. Let's see what's inside. I know that tape right there. All right. What do we got? <laughs> oh, snap. And we got a little letter in there, man. Let's check out our letter first. Seth, I hope you like the new Skyward X. See you soon. Tammy. Shout out to Tammy Moses for sending me this package, man. Appreciate you, Tammy. Now let's see what we got in here. Ooh. This shoe is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I might have tried this shoe on in a store. This is the new Hoka Skyward X. So this shoe has a crazy amount of stack height, as you can see. Like, I mean, look at this thing, it's chunky. It is carbon fiber plated. I can already say by trying it on in the store that this shoe is 10 times more bouncy than the Bondi X. Let's lace this bad boy up and get some miles in. All right, y'all. So it is 10.20 p.m. And I just finished editing this 43-minute video reacting to every single comment on the Cowboy 200 documentary with my mom. And it literally took me hours to just go through each comment, take a screenshot, upload it and now my brain is fried and earlier i told tammy i would run in these and she goes you don't have to and i said oh it's not an option now it's 10 30 p.m and i'm like hey why did i say that because like i could just go to sleep right now have a nice cup of tea get a good <laughs> night's rest mm -hmm. but hey at least these will bounce me through the run i'm really excited to try these out shout out to tammy man she's making me run it's her fault do y'all carry hookah all right let's get it all right, y'all, got started. I'm on about half a mile. I don't even feel the ground. <laughs> I'm just rolling forward, bouncing. It feel really good. Pretty cool, man. It feels really cool. I just finished up that 5K in the Hoka Skyward X. It was pretty crazy, you know? Uh, super bouncy. I don't even feel like I was running. I just was bouncing, man. So yeah, this is just the first part of the video. Uh, we'll get out there and do a longer run. So I'll see you when we do that. Today is Thursday night, mm -hmm. and now it's... And now, it is Friday morning. And, as you can see, we're putting some more miles on the Hoka Skyward X. And I'm doing a quick three miler, because I got a good drive, and then uh, gonna get a haircut. And then we got work. Let's get it. Came through the ground. How far? You still bouncing? All right, wrapping up this morning 5K. Right here, baby. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. Let's go. Let's go, Bo. Let's go, buddy. All right, y'all. Another 5K in the Hoka Skyward X. Still not enough miles to kind of get my review on it. But yeah, I got to go shower and head out ASAP. Today is Friday morning, and now it's, now it is Saturday morning. I'm getting in another 5K. I haven't ran too far. I put out like six YouTube videos this week. So I've been editing for hours. And yeah, so uh, just squeezing in this 5K before I have to drive to work. Bouncing along in the Skyward X. Let's another go. Day, another 5K. My dad's up there running. He's Woo! run. Here's my dad training for his first 5K. He's starting to get into some jogging, slowly but surely. Yes, sir. Woo! He can't run faster enough. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. Dad's getting after it. He's got his new watch. He's not using it yet, but we'll be soon. Good job, Bo. Let's go. Yes, sir. We're kind of Here you like go, guys. Go, go, right go, 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 go. Dad's in the Hoka Bondies. Dad, what's your favorite shoe? Hoka Bondies. 
he never takes these shoes off really and my mom's wearing a hoka gaviota right now come on dad keep going all right good job Woo! all right now it's time to jump in the shower and get ready for work So that's 50. It's in the Hoka's, they gave me that extra bounce. All right, y'all, so for handyman work, these uh, Hoka Skyward X's are really good too. So once I climb this ladder, as you can see, it gives me about two more inches of height. So now I can reach all the way up here. And that carbon plate gives me a nice stable platform. Oh, that's bright. All right, y'all, now me and dad are eating some tacos to have some avocados in them. You know what I'm saying? We eating good out here today. All right, y'all. Just got off work and drove straight to the park over here and met my parents. Hey, bro. How are you, buddy? What's up, Dad? Hello, son. You liking your new watch? Yeah. Yes, sir. Big rolly on my wrist, boy. He's obsessed. All right, let me lock down these shoes and uh, start running. I also have this uh, Phoenix HM65R-T headlight that's supposed to be stupid bright. And I got this for my Moab 240 mile race. This light was $105. What do you think about that, Mom? Return it. Nah. How long is it going to take you? Hour and a half. Yeah, we'll probably leave. No, y'all can stay. No, we'll probably leave. Yeah, I wouldn't want anything to happen to me. It's Are actually, it's a beautiful day. My Garmin watch busted so i gotta pull up strava on my phone each run let's get it okay where will we see you again that trail is flooded down there you have to go around it I saw that. you did what kind of shorts are those Asics. i love them they got reflectors on the back anyway how are the shoes feeling that super critical foam and EVA mixture with the carbon fiber plate has given me supreme bounce. <laughs> We're at Lions Park in Temple, Texas. We used to come here and do baseball tournaments, baseball games, like a decade ago. Pitch hit and run. Just stretch your legs out. You don't have to run harder. I'm not doing a tempo run, Dad. Got them giant long legs like a spider. Use them to your advantage. Now you're running 10 miles an hour. Shout out to the camera team. My mom, dad, little boat. Woo! Go back and get his car, he's just gonna run home. There's some good, uh, good land. It's very pretty. Yeah, this is some pretty land. It is. I like that pond. It looks cool when it's flooded. All right, love y'all. All right, love you. Thanks. See you at home. See ya. All right, let's put this headlight on and see what it's about. This headlight was freaking $110, bro. So if it's not that good, I'm returning that. All right, let's see here. All right, that's pretty bright. I mean, come on, guys. I can see the deer way out in the field, like no problem. No one's running up on me with this thing. Look at this deer, man. Hey, have you been drinking tonight? Drinking that water, huh? I was just running by the trail. I mean, this light kind of came clutch, I'm not gonna lie. Cause right here, we got a water moccasin. Oh yeah. Send you to the hospital right there. Should I grab him? Oh. Go back to the creek, buddy. Okay, two minutes later, there's this big earthworm just crawling across the sidewalk. And it's got something on its butt. But hey, Hoka Skyward X, looking fresh. All right, you guys, just wrapped up the run. Got 10 miles in. And I don't know about y'all, but it's time to get some water and eat.
All right, everybody, so now that I've put some miles on these shoes, I can confidently give you my thoughts and opinion on how this shoe performs. So the upper of the shoe is constructed of flat knit upper with zonal engineering, which is basically shooting for a sock-like fit that's not gonna be you know, too loose and kind of molds to your feet. And how this shoe felt on my foot was, I always prefer a more padded shoe. And so the tongue being nice and cushy, I love that you know you can lace them down nice and tight up top without it restraining the top of your foot too much. Initially the toe box felt a little bit narrow, but while I was on the run it fit pretty well and I didn't have any issues with it like being too tight on the toe box area. So from the forefoot up to the tongue of the shoe, I felt like the fit was really solid. When I got to the heel, I felt like it was a little bit wider than my heel is and I happen to have a pretty narrow heel. so. I'm not super shocked. But I did have to tie the runner's loop to really get a good nice lockdown without the heel slipping too much. And after I tied it down a couple of times and got it nice and locked in, I was able to find that sweet spot. As you can see, this shoe has layers to the midsole. And the first layer from the top is the deep active foot frame. And that's this red piece right here. And this layer starts from the heel and goes towards the forefoot. And it's really just to give you a little bit of a deeper heel cup and cradle to your heel for added support and a more stable ride. And I do believe that this same layer is made up of a Piba foam, which is just gonna enhance the energy return and the bounce of the shoe. So while you're out there logging miles, it's gonna take the impact off your knees and hips a little bit better and also just give you that extra pep in your step. And then of course we have the carbon fiber plate, which you can see on the exterior of the shoe right here, kind of poking out which kind of adds to the aesthetic. It looks really nice. And this plate is kind of in an eight shape. So it comes out right here and back here. And it has two lines across here horizontally. What it does is it, it bows in the middle pretty much to just give you that extra spring on top of that Piba sole and give you that crazy bounce feeling that it has to offer. And then on bottom, the foundation of the Hocus Skyward X is gonna be the super critical EVA foam that's gonna support that rocker in the shoe. And that rocker is really gonna help you move as smooth and efficiently as possible. So you're reducing the stress and fatigue that's put on your body. And then on bottom, it looks like we just have some standard rubber and definitely felt grippy when I was out there running. I had never had any thoughts that I was gonna slip. And when you really start moving with that rocker in motion and that bounce happening at the same time, you really do notice the grip grabbing the ground and just propelling you forward. So my honest thoughts and opinion of the shoe, this is what I really wanted when the Bondi X came out. And shoes like this are super exciting for me because I love race day shoes, but most of my runs are at an easy pace. I will go run 10 miles in the morning and you know, you need a really good daily trainer. And so when you can have like a plate in there with lots of padding, it's gonna really take all that shock off your knees and hips. These are the kind of shoes that really excite me. And that's why I love the Asics Nimbus so much and shoes like that because most of my runs are slow, easy, uh, just chilling on the road, getting some fresh air. So just having those shoes in your rotation that you can just throw on and you know not have to think too hard about are my favorites to lace up. So it's really cool to see companies making that supreme trainer. And of course you have shoes like the Asics Super Blast, New Balance SC Trainer, and this is a super trainer right here, let me tell you. So like I mentioned, the upper felt really good, very comfortable. I did feel like the heel was, you know, a little bit a little bit loose, so I think I would like to see maybe some type of more secure fit to it. But overall, it wasn't a big problem and it didn't cause me any pain. So I'm also not going to complain, but if somehow Hoka can make this heel a little bit more secure, for my foot, that would be ideal. And I would say most people's concern when running in a shoe like this is like, is it too much cushion? Is it too heavy? Is it too bulky? You know, everybody has their own preference. Me personally, I love a high cushion shoe. Like I mentioned, most of my runs are daily runs that are slow and I need as much padding as possible. And I really like how that carbon fiber plate isn't like a full plate and it's kind of like divided in sections. So, so you're getting the benefits of that bounce with the super critical foam and the Piba foam. You don't notice the plate too much, but the responsiveness is there. I do believe that this shoe is gonna take you a little bit of breaking in just with all of this going on in the sole. So if you happen to buy the shoe, I would say break it in with a few runs before you do a marathon in it. So yeah, guys, I am a fan of the shoe. I'm definitely going to continue running in it. And I think anyone that likes a high cushion shoe that's as soft and bouncy, you're going to like this one. And I think it's really cool that Hoka kind of paved the way as far as like super trainers go. Because I remember that Bondi X came out. And it was like, oh, an everyday trainer with a plate in it. 
pretty awesome. I wasn't a huge fan of that shoe, but you know, after they dropped that shoe, you kind of saw a few other brands follow in that direction. And I just think it's awesome that Hoka's putting more emphasis on that super trainer because now you have this. And I think so many people are going to get great use out of this shoe and really enjoy it. And like I mentioned, this shoe's going to have a break-in period, and that's because I believe it's going to be a very durable shoe. I don't want to say anything too crazy, but the way the shoe feels like, man, I think you got 500 miles on it. Yes, the carbon fiber plate will wear down, the foam will wear down a little bit, but you have such a high stack height in that plate in there. Like, this thing's going to be a beast. So I give this shoe a solid 9 out of 10. I really think the heel can be updated. And yes, it is a little bit heavy, a little bit bulky, but it's gonna be a great recovery shoe or a shoe that I throw on and I just don't even wanna feel the road. So yeah, guys, that's my honest thoughts and opinion on the Hoka Skyward X. And I think it's awesome that we're really diving in deep to the Super Trainer. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, run testing video and also full review. And this shoe comes out on April 24th. And it'll be available on fleetfeet.com if you want to go by there and grab it at that $225 price point. So if you guys happen to grab a pair, uh, hit up those comments and let me know what you think. And big shout out to Hoka and Tammy for supplying me with this shoe. I really appreciate it. Um, it's awesome that I get to put this out before the drop date and give my subscribers a heads up on what's about to come out and what I think of the shoe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.